This is not about, oh my god, the world is going wrong and we have to escape because, you know, we need a, another future somewhere else. No, no. The goals of interplanetary exploration and planetary preservation are not opposed to one another. No, they're in fact two sides of the same goal, to understand, preserve and improve life into the future. We're living in one of the most exciting times in history. We are at a magical confluence where private wealth and imagination are driving the demand for access to space. Already, there's about a billion and a half to a billion point seven investment in private space flight that is not, uh, not government at all. The space shuttle was an attempt at a reusable rocket, but even the main tank of the space shuttle was thrown away every time. The goal of SpaceX is to try to crack a problem that I think is vital for humanity to become a space-faring civilization, which is to have a, a, a rapidly and fully reusable rocket. The space station will be one a, you know, giant eye, so when, you, when you're in space you ought to be able to see this massive eye looking up at you. And, um, and when you land, you'll be able to, you know, um, to you know, go back into this, into this giant hive. Very quickly, you'll see those resort hotels in orbit, and that real easy thing to do, which is a swing around the moon, so you have this cool view. And uh, th th that'll be really cool, because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere. You can do an elliptical orbit and miss it by 10 feet if you want that. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Orbital hotels to start with, but workshops for the rest of us later on. The final missing piece, the real paradigm buster, is this, a gas station on orbit. It's not going to look like that. <laughs> if it existed, it would change all future spacecraft design and space mission planning. There's a fundamental difference, if, if you sort of look into the future, between a humanity that is, that is a space ring civilization that's out there exploring the stars on multiple planets. And I think that's really exciting. And compared with, with one where we are forever confined to Earth until at some eventual extinction event. But in the meantime, I invite you to imagine the day when we might journey to the Saturnian system and visit the Enceladus Interplanetary Geyser Park just because we can.